Do you ever find yourself rolling your eyes even internally or saying, oh please, or come on, when your friends are complaining or venting? I had a friend once who was talking about feeling panicked that her bank account was dropping below like the 80,000 mark. And I remember thinking, oh please, I could live on that for a year, I'd give anything. And immediately kind of judging her right to complain. I've been on the other side of that too, where I've complained about some weight gain or some wrinkles around the eyes and had somebody say, oh please, you have nothing to worry about. And dismissing anything I was feeling because my circumstances didn't match what she thought was worthy of complaining. We do this all the time on all kinds of things. We do it for, with friends who have something we want or circumstances that we find enviable or, or things we think they deserve because, well, you let your kids do that, so of course they're gonna do that or that's how you treat him, so of course. And so we show up so often when our friends are looking for empathy, looking for uh, relating, and instead it's really hard when we're judging them to feel empathy. That's because we misunderstand empathy. We think that empathy means relating to their circumstances, asking the question, how would I feel in their shoes? And that's not empathy. Empathy isn't about circumstances, it's about feelings. And so instead, empathy means we're looking at how they feel and remembering times where we have felt that. And so instead, I wish I could go back to my time with my girlfriend whose bank account dropped below and to think to myself, I know what it feels like to feel financially insecure. I could have related to her. I could have said, yes, oh my goodness, I hate that feeling where you never feel like you have enough. Even though my number's a thousand, it doesn't matter the different circumstances. I know the feeling she was expressing. And for somebody else to look at my body or to look at who I am and to say she has no right to have any feelings around it, how much more beautiful would it have been for them to say, I know what it's like to feel unfamiliar in my body or to have it changing, and to be able to say, oh, I know that feeling. We can do this in so many of our different relationships, is understanding that empathy means connecting to the feeling they're expressing, not to the circumstances. If we leave it up to the circumstances, we lose our right to ever complain or vent too because there's always somebody who has it worse. Do we only have the opportunity to talk about how we feel insecure or scared or unfamiliar or uncomfortable only if we have the worst in the room? No, we don't want to play that game. I mean, there's somebody else out there who would give anything to have a bank account of $1,000. And so that doesn't mean I don't feel financially insecure just because somebody has it worse just because somebody's aging differently, it's just because they have a different relationship or a different job, doesn't mean they don't feel stress. We don't wanna make it turn into, we're only if you're the worst off that you have feelings. That's simply not true. No matter who we are, we feel uncertain, fearful, scared, sad. We all have those feelings regardless of the circumstances. And so if we want to really save our friendships, and save the opportunity for us to have empathy, the best thing we can do is realize that empathy is not about circumstances. It's about saying, I know that feeling too.